Hey everybody, it's Rhonda, creator of Spirit Must Smoke with Smudge. I have a, a really important message to share today, so much that I'm just kind of like fidgety. So forgive me, and I'll try to be, I'll try to be still. Um, I realize that this is not going to be probably a very popular message, but it's some, something that I, I feel needs to be said. So I am going to say it. You are not exempt from being human. I am not exempt from being human. We are all not exempt from being human and having a human experience because we all have bodies and we were all born into these bodies and a lot of unique things can happen. So, what I have noticed is a trend, and at times I've been guilty of, of really being harsh on myself, and that's actually stopping. I'm not going to do that anymore, and I, I urge you to, to do the same. Um, but, you know, I see a lot of people that are working very hard to live the best life ever that they possibly can. And I applaud those efforts because that's why we're here. But I see a lot of people getting very upset with themselves, even whenever they've done absolutely the best that they could possibly do. When you've done, to the best of your knowledge, the best diet for you. I'm not even going to debate diets here. I believe different diets work for different people because we all have our own set of genetics. When I see people trying so hard and trying to live in the most healthy way possible, exercise, your whole lifestyle around living the best you can, and yet maybe something happens and we don't, maybe we may not get the desired results. Or maybe we have an occurrence called life and something happens and it skews our results. Like, you know, stress, which I believe in stress management. I teach stress management. I utilize everything I know on myself because I certainly don't live a stress-free life at all. But, you know, we, we don't take into play that, you know, Maybe things are going on great, and then bam, one day we have something happen, and we may have a, a health issue, or we may not have the best results that we had, or what worked before isn't working anymore. You know, we, we evolve, our bodies change, we have our unique set of genetics, but then, you know, we, we, we react to life in different ways. Now, I'm a big believer and positive affirmations and I will tell you honestly my little Louise Hay book has been my Bible for um, more years than not I used it for like 17 years now um, so I believe in trying to figure out where my thinking is why am I what why am I having issues with this what is my thinking well we can't be 100% perfect all the time and I see people really belittling themselves and I've I've done it in the past and I, I just think that it's it's time to to move forward from that and another thing that I see that has happened in a lot of times in the world of natural health unfortunately and now I I've been involved in this world my whole life I was raised in in the natural health realm I mean been juicing since I was nine so I have been involved in the field for a very, very long time. And what I see is that there's a lot of finger pointing also on the outside, you know, and, and when you point that finger at somebody, you got three more coming right back at you, baby. Don't, don't do that to yourself. Don't. You don't need to judge what's going on with somebody else. You don't know what their set of genes are. You don't know what their stressors are. You don't know, but I see people doing this. Oh, 
well, they're obviously not doing the blah, blah, blah diet correctly if they're having blah, blah, blah health this year. Really? Really? We don't need to go there. You don't know. And I know this is not going to be a popular viewpoint because there's a lot of people that believe that only their diet or their belief system is the only thing that works. And I don't believe that. I believe that we're, we're, we're human. We're not exempt from it. And different things work for different people. And I just want you to embrace who you are and let, let that stuff go. Let that stuff go. You know, things happen to people. Things happen. And we try to do the best that we possibly can. Always do the best that you possibly can for yourself. And worry about yourself. The healing takes place here. Don't worry if you think about what somebody else is doing and judge what they're doing. Let's just, let's take care of this. This is how we change the world. You heal yourself. You work on yourself. You be the best you that you can be because you are human in this human vessel. And that is my message today. And no, it won't be popular. I'm not sorry. <laughs> I feel like it needed to be said. So if you know someone that needs to hear this, would you please share it? I'm just trying to share this from a source and a place of love. I love you. And you're perfect the way you are. And let's, let's work from there. So please share this with someone. Um, you can look up on my website and I have um, a free workshop that I was, it'll be up for a couple more weeks before I take it down. And it's a, it's a free laughter yoga workshop on laughing the body alive. And it's just some techniques to, to make you feel good using laughter. I'm a big believer in it and, and share it. If you know somebody that wants it, it's completely free. Um, I just want you to just accept your humanness and, and, and just know that we're all in this together and that, and that you're perfect.